one African elephant will feed 2,000 people. 2,000 people. Think about that for a moment. One elephant will feed 2,000 people. And that brings us to the topic of today, hunting the African elephant. Elephant hunting is an extremely divisive topic. People are either for it or they are against it. Even people who know nothing about it have strong opinions and feelings one way or the other. Opponents to elephant hunting say that it is an immoral and wrong act and that no one should ever kill such a magnificent creature and that the hunting of elephants decreases their population numbers. Proponents of elephant hunting say that it is the only practical way to preserve the species, fight poaching, and provide the necessary funding for conservation efforts. A study of the evidence shows that hunting these majestic beasts is not only an ethical venture, but essential to the conservation and sustainability of the species. It not only helps elephants, but also helps the people who live with them, and helps the countries which they inhabit. Without hunting, elephants would soon go extinct. Sportsmen and sport hunting are the most important factors in preserving large wild animals from extermination. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States and an avid hunter himself, once said, in a civilized and cultivated country, wild animals only continue to exist at all when preserved by sportsmen. The excellent people who protest against all hunting and consider sportsmen as enemies of wildlife are ignorant of the fact that in reality, the genuine sportsman is by all odds the most important factor in keeping the larger and more valuable wild creatures from total extermination." End of quote. Roosevelt understood the importance of true wildlife conservation. Roosevelt understood that if we love animals, we will preserve them from extermination. He knew that using sportsmen to hunt and regulate a species was the most effective conservation model ever implemented. This model is known as the North American Wildlife Conservation Model. The principles behind this model come from the early efforts of conservationists like Theodore Roosevelt and John Muir and others from the late 1800s. This model views wildlife as a public resource. It eliminates the market for the sale of wildlife. It manages wildlife through law. It states that hunting should be democratic, that wildlife should only be killed for legitimate reasons, and it uses science to guide wildlife management decisions. This model saved the North American elk and several species of wild turkey from total extermination. Similar models have been used in a number of African countries to greatly increase elephant populations. Countries such as Namibia, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Zambia have seen tremendous success in preserving their elephant populations through controlled hunting. Hunting elephants has had a tremendously positive effect on local economies and tribes as well. Each hunter is required to purchase an elephant license. Licenses are sold for only about one half of 1% of the elephant population in any one country. One elephant hunting license can bring in between 40000 and upwards and even over $100,000 to the local economy and the government. These license fees pay for the local conservation personnel as well as the local people employed in the hunting camps. In African countries like Namibia, the local people are willing to put up with all of the crop, fruit, and tree destruction that the elephants cause as well as the danger they represent to people. Because the animals bring in so much money every time that one is killed, Elephant hunting provides many jobs in countries where work is extremely difficult to find. 
The hunting industry employs local trackers, skinners, butchers, guides, cooks, hunting camp personnel, drivers, etc. Many local people in African countries rely entirely on the hunting industry for their livelihood. Also, elephant meat feeds many starving, impoverished people. One large bull elephant can feed 2,000 people. We talked about that in the beginning. What an incredible number. When an elephant is killed, the professional hunter contacts several dozen villages to come and harvest and use the meat. In many areas of Africa, elephant meat is the only good source of protein that people have access to. Supporting and practicing and participating in elephant hunting in Africa actually feeds tens of thousands of starving African children and adults. And it is a true humanitarian effort in terms of helping those people found in these third world countries. But there is another huge benefit for allowing elephant hunting. It is the single biggest deterrent to illegal poaching. Poaching destroys elephant populations. When an African professional hunter receives a conservancy, which is a government hunting agreement, from an African country, he is given control over a certain geographical area and a certain number of elephants. He is given a very limited annual quota of elephants that can be harvested from his conservancy. Each elephant in his area then becomes very valuable to him as well as to the local farmers and landowners and tribes in the conservancy. Each elephant then has a potential worth of between 40,000 and upwards and even over 100,000 US dollars. All parties involved are then financially motivated to protect and preserve each elephant. Each professional hunter is motivated to stop all poaching operations in his area. These professional hunters invest time and money in anti-poaching patrols and other techniques to stop poachers and illegal poaching. Therefore, by killing a few elephants each year, many hundreds of elephants can be saved by poachers or from poachers. The introduction or reintroduction of elephant hunting in African countries is the answer to preserving elephants for future generations. When one can see elephant hunting for what it truly is, a way to save elephants, one can begin to see that it is a moral, honest, necessary act of compassion. One can then see that those who hunt elephants do so out of a love for the species and a desire to preserve them. The elephant hunter is a true sportsman and a gentleman, giving his time and money to preserve something magnificent and wonderful. He even puts his own life at risk to do it, to hunt a very large and dangerous animal. There are not many other things so magnanimous as hunting an elephant. It is an act of pure compassion for an animal that needs our help to survive. I would like to invite each of us to continue to learn and study about this subject. The subject so important, the African elephant and the preservation of this entire species. I would like to invite each of us to, to continue to read and to, to watch videos about this subject and decide where we stand. And with that stance, something that each of us can do might not be going and hunting an elephant ourselves and providing this financial aid and frankly meat for starving thousands, but something that every one of us can do is to get involved in the conversation online, on social media, with our friends, with our families, in our communities, in our countries. Talk to people and share our thoughts about this. And I'd like to invite each of us to do that, 
to get involved into this conversation and even to to write a letter to our government, to our Congress, or whatever government represents us in the country where we find ourselves, and to make our voices heard in saying that we want to preserve these animals and that this is the best way to do it.